So I figure I should end on this one because it's a kind of a hot topic of discussion um, and it is analog versus digital. Um, and uh, for the sake of the argument, uh, we're going to be using analog modeled that does a very good job of it and uh, digital, uh, which would be like, you know, uh, Silent One. So Silent One is not a VA at all. Um, it is a very kind of simple uh, oscillator kind of generation um, and uh, that's probably why it sounds kind of cold to people. You can instantly kind of pick it out uh, somehow. So we will, I'll play you something and I'll just take a snapshot. So this would be uh, our saw. <laughs> I'll save that as red, and now we'll go to something that actually is um, something that actually is a virtual analog hardware unit, and I will see. Yep. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. So hold tight. Alrighty, so let's uh, zoom in and see what's going on. Instantly, um, you'll notice that uh, silent is very matter of fact, kind of just a shape, like it's like a, an angle, right? Um, and that uh, is very kind of digital. Uh, in the virus TI, uh, it's a virtual analog, so there's a bit of imperfection at the transient and a bit of wiggly wobbly here, right? So, and overall, the kind of whole uh, wave here has more of a, of a sinusoidal kind of curve to it, and that is what analog is. So it, it as you can imagine, it's a completely different sound, right? So, yeah, that's that's analog. Uh, that's because uh, a, a capacitor can't discharge 100% um, from here to here. There's like a bit of you know jaggedy jaggediness to it. Um, I'll show you another example, and I guess I'll save that to white. Um, another virtual analog, uh, which is element. Hopefully, I'll just resettle that. <laughs> That's, a, that's another saw, but it's completely different. Um, it goes up and it does weird stuff. So you can also see here it's more exaggerated in how uh, it the, it discharges. So it's all it's all capacitor. So this is uh, analog, and you can tell it sounds more kind of richer. And this is what people say when they describe like warmness. Um, so each kind of synth does it differently. Well, the ones that emulate, uh, what do you call it, analog. Each synth that's virtually that is virtual analog or VA. Uh, you can you can see that it's all kind of different here. It's very kind of complicated how they go about it, uh, certain wave shaping and certain algorithms. But um, yeah, you can see here it's quite interesting. South one is very blunt, matter of fact. Uh, and they all have different kind of curves, so that's what, that's how like synths sound different. But when you when you hear someone say, "Oh, analog is best," because analog analog, it's basically uh, emulating real life, or it is real life uh, circuitry uh, through an amplifier, and yeah, you know, sounds rather nice. So that's that's a basic rundown of uh, digital versus analog and I wish I knew more about it, but I'm just kind of showing you what it is. And it is what it is. All right. So yeah, get whatever synth you want. Really, they're all good. They just do different stuff. Okay, take care. Like, share, and disco dance.